so this is one email, right? This lady emails a really long email about how she's read that the Quran never talks about covering the head, right? Now it's not a, it's not a messed up thing necessarily, but she says, you know, I mean, I read the ayah and I read, you know, what what it says in Surah number twenty four. Surah An-Nur has the ayah, right? And it uses the word uh, khimar, which is for veil. And I looked up the dictionary, and it says things like a shawl or cover. So it doesn't never ever says anything about covering the head, right? And I start thinking, is this a common like confusion, or is this just this one-time email? Yeah. So I do a little digging, and it's actually extremely common. Like a lot of people think that the ayah is not talking about covering wow. the head at all, right? So it's a really common confusion. I didn't know. So, like one of the things I really want to do is kind of address this in a like a sane way, like. I'm not interested in getting somebody to wear hijab. That's their decision, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, if something's being said about the Quran, we have to be honest. And what is it saying? And you know, there are people who would like it to mean something it doesn't mean. And then there are people who are genuinely, they just don't know any better and they're confused about the subject. And I, I'd like to assume that anybody who has this confusion, they just don't know any better or whatever they read convinced them of this. I don't like to think that they're uh, like they mean evil or they're trying to have, like an agenda. Uh, have an agenda or like a misguided opinion or whatever. So the, the, the cool thing about Arabic, right, is that for covering the head, just covering the head, there's like nine different words. Wow. And one of them is khimar, mm -hmm. right? So you have, you know, miqna'a and mighfar and there's all these bunch of words. And that depends on if it covers the head and if it's up to here, if it's up to here, if it's up to here. Depending each on the length, the each has its own wow. kind of meaning. And in Old Arabic, the word khimar, which is used in the Quran. Now, I mean, you and I know commonly we use the word hijab. Yeah. Hijab is actually not a word for head cover. It's actually a word for barrier. Like a wall could be a hijab. A curtain could be a hijab. Okay, so it just kind of got coined as hijab, but that's not the word in the Quran, nor the Arabs ever used it like that. Okay, so the word is khimar. And the cool thing about it is the word itself includes the meaning of covering the head. Like the head and then some. And it's it's used before Islam. The men used to have khimar too. One of the names for their turban, if it was extra long and it went down to like almost middle of the belly, the men used to call it khimar too. And then, it's so cool. They, the, the women had like different fashions or whatever. And one of the things the women before Islam used to do is they used to have this bandana type thing that they would tie in the back with their ponytails and it would go to the middle of their back. So they wouldn't drape it in front, they drape it, they throw it behind them. That was also called a khimar. Now the Quran says they should take their khimar and throw it in front of them, mm. before their chest. In other words, the only difference is keep the khimar, but just use it, the, the head cover is already included in the meaning, just use it to cover the front also. Mm. Right, and it should be like a certain length. That's the meaning. And somebody argues like, no, 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 but the word khimar, it, it just means shawl, it doesn't mean like head cover, whatever. It's really cool. That you, you, are you familiar with the word khamr? You know what that means? Uh, is that alcohol? Alcohol, yeah. wine. You know why it's called khamr? No. Because it messes with your head. Uh, block khamr your blocks your judgment. Khamr literally means to cover. And it's called khamr because it you know, messes with your mind. It creates a block in your mind. Mm -hmm. you're, it's almost as though your head is covered up with something. When you take khamr. <laughs> it's like it's part of the meaning of the word. We're not even talking about the Islamic meaning. We're talking about Arabic itself. Back in the day, they'd see some horses are funny colors, like from the neck onwards it's white and the rest of it's brown or something like that. They would say that horse is mutakhamid, it's, it's like it has a khimar on. Oh. <laughs> so, like how are you going to explain that as, the, the, the horses don't have shawls on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the length. It's so just it's a length tough. and it's covering its head and it's up to its neck and all the way down, so that's why they're calling it a khimar, you know? So. Oh like it's already in the language, but it's so unfortunate that when they say, okay, they should draw their veils over their chest, that's what some translations say, draw the veils over the chest. Well, a veil could be a shawl, it could be any kind of cloth. And it doesn't really include head covering, right? But the Arabic word does. And so I, I feel like a lot of this conf confusion comes because uh, people don't pay attention enough to the original language. And how a lot of translations, they oversimplify the issue, and we start coming to drastic conclusions. Surah, well, does the Quran verse in Surah An-Nur on the subject of hijab speak more about covering the jabe 
than covering the head. Hijab, if you're going to just look at the Quran and the Sunnah, you will not find anything on... You see, because this, first of all, the term hij, hijab in and of itself is a modern term. Okay, Hijab meant a barrier. So in the Quran, when the term hijab is used, it doesn't mean the head covering, which we today are calling hijab. People for most of Islamic history never would have known that, that you meant hijab by that. So if you could time travel a few hundred years in the past and you said to some scholar about the hijab, I mean, unless they could just gather by the context what you're saying, that word does not mean the head covering. The head covering is called the khimar in Arabic. Um, this is a recent modern term. So the 20th century probably. So it's very recent. Uh, called referring to... Um, the head covering is the hijab. That said, is there anything in the Quran and Sunnah that clearly speaks about the head covering? The truth is there isn't. There's nothing explicit in the Quran nor in the Sunnah that speaks about the head covering. You've got the verse in the Quran, uh, in Surah Nur, um, which speaks about um, covering the jade, the bosoms. The kind of chest area for women uh, because the jabe meant a kind of the slit so it was uh, because that's we which is then also used for a pocket because a pocket was in essence a kind of slit you slit and then you create a pocket so similarly so the dress was kind of created with a large cut out here so you could kind of and then that would you could see a considerable amount <laughs> of cleavage <laughs> <laughs> so the Quran speaks about covering the bosom, the covering the chest area, and it mentions the term use your the khumar bi hinna. So the women, a lot of the Arab women did used to wear khimars. So the way they would presumably here's a, a towel. <laughs> if I'm to use this towel. So presumably women would cover it like this so they would do that kind of uh, like wrap it like that so this was about bringing this over and covering the the kind of chest area with it right so this uh, so the point was about bringing this round what was just kind of just hanging at the back there now the question is that was because Allah says you know for, uh, that that let them kind of use their khumar and cover the bosoms. Does this mean that having a khumar, or having the khumar, or the khimar is singular, khumar is plural, uh, not to be confused with khumar, which means alcohol. Otherwise that would be a totally different if you say, huh, should cover their bosoms in alcohol. That's a complete <laughs> misreading of the verse. This is why Arabic muy importante you know so uh this so you have uh khumar 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 <laughs> not khamar right so the khumar uh is the khumar in and of itself an obligation or is this just circumstantial sorry circumstantial just circumstances as in i gave the example before imagine i was to say that um, let's just say, as an analogy, totally different, not to do with hijab. Let's just say, as an example, if we were going through a place and I said, right, people hide your jewellery. You know, th this is a bit, it's a, it's a tricky, let's just say there's a lot of thieves around. And if I was to say, right guys, anybody wearing expensive watches, cover them with your sleeves. Right, cover them with your sleeves. Would this mean, so let's say now somebody gets hold of my statement 200 years from today or 500 years from today. Would they understand that I was saying it was, it was necessary to have sleeves, to wear always clothing with sleeves so you could cover the, the watches? 
Or could one equally take the watch off and put it in their pocket? Uh, right, so what is... So this... Um, in this analogy, the, the, the kind of tools at play here in how you're analysing a text are the same thing here. That when Allah is saying cover up the bosom, bosoms with the humor, what if it is Allah saying, hey, make sure you have humor? Or is he just saying, cover this up? What if you could cover it in the future with different mechanisms? Uh, not make. <laughs> Sounds a bit high tech there, but different methods. Like, what if now you know you could use buttons and other things, and I don't know, get creative. So that is an interesting discussion. So really, in the Quran was Sunnah, there definitely isn't anything clear and established about covering the hair. Um, that's it. And in the early generations of Islam, I think it's not that. There's definitely a culture in the early. Uh, like amongst the companions and early Islam, where women generally wore humor, and they would, uh, <coughs> what is it, they would even, because the men would cover their hair as well, because they lived in a desert, they would uh, cover their face sometimes, because of traveling in the sand and doing things like that. 